Hey guys, it's Dangani. I recently played and beat Luigi's Mansion 3, and I thoroughly enjoyed it, but if you've ever played the original, you can tell there's a distinct difference between the two. I wanted to talk about why the original still feels unmatched in a few important ways that personally make Luigi's Mansion so dang good for me. Luigi's Mansion is one of Nintendo's most unique series, and it's because it was so different from what was expected from a Mario type game in a lot of ways. It is so weird to think that this was a launch title because Nintendo would not dare to launch a new console today with Luigi. Like I said, I love Luigi's Mansion 3, but there are some core differences in the first one compared to this one that really make the original shine in a few different ways. Of course, they are both still amazing, and I could list a million different reasons why the new one is way better than the original. For example, Toad drives a bus. But for this video, I want to look at a couple of aspects why I still think the original Luigi's Mansion is still a masterpiece. The gameplay structure is handled very differently in the original Luigi's Mansion compared to Luigi's Mansion 3. In the original, the entire game takes place in the same mansion with the same theme the whole way through. But what really makes this type of gameplay structure shine is the way the progression has no real linearity. Exploration is fun and rewarding because it is up to you to figure out what to do, and a lot of the time the only thing majorly holding you back is the keys you need for each room. The layout of the mansion is fun to explore because there is a nice variety of rooms. Some small, some big, some have bosses, some are fake doors, I keep on falling for the stupid fake door- And some are hidden rooms. But none of this gets overwhelming because you're able to clear a room by sucking up all the ghosts. Once you do that, the room lights up and you're able to check which rooms are cleared and which ones you still have something to do in through your Game Boy Horror. I like Luigi's massive bouncing head as the marker. I, I can't believe they got rid of this in, in the new ones. It's a critical mistake made by Nintendo. I mean, look at it, it bounces. It bounces. Please, please sign my petition. The mansion is fun to explore because it is really easy to traverse. You visit locations multiple times, so learning the layout becomes pretty easy pretty quickly. It might also just be my incredible brain power with my 300 IQ because I'm a master at memorization, so I understand if you can't keep up with my highly intellectual... It, wait, how do you spell intellectual? With my highly intellectual brain power. It's a nice balance of engaging backtracking because it doesn't feel like the game is forcibly making you go back somewhere just to fill in playtime. It's usually you just forgot something to do in the room. Not of course me, <laughs> I, I would never. It makes exploration really fun and it does a great job in making you feel like it is really your responsibility to explore this mansion. Capturing many of the portrait ghosts in the original Luigi's Mansion was also a very unique experience. When you walk in a room with a portrait ghost, you usually find the ghost minding their own business. THEN YOU SUCK THEM! <laughs> no boss battle initiates or anything like that. Instead, it is up to you to figure out how to get the ghost vulnerable so you can capture it. It's another way that encourages the game's exploration. And this game is good at that. Now, everybody and their mom talks about how they like the original Luigi's Mansion atmosphere more than the games to come, but it's because it brought something new to the table that we really don't see from Nintendo too often. The general art direction is super unique for a Mario-type game. The mansion by itself is such a contrast from Luigi's super cartoony design, and I love it for that reason. The mansion takes on a semi-realistic style form of a creepy old dollhouse mansion. Wait a second, dollhouse mansion? Is Luigi actually... a doll? The atmosphere the mansion creates with the blend of the cartoon ghosts and Luigi is an entertaining contrast in style that we really don't see with the new ones. It has a bit of creepiness because it's dark and abandoned, but then it has Luigi, perfectly balanced. There are a lot of small but nice details that help the atmosphere it creates as well, like the dust particles throughout the haunted mansion or how a lot of the ghosts don't directly interfere with you, but they are still throughout the entire mansion, and Luigi's humming of the theme in the game throughout the dark rooms with him whistling it in the cleared rooms. <laughs> Mario! I like stuff like that. The ghost variety in this game, from the common ghost that you see in the hallway to each and every portrait ghost, is a huge contributor to what makes this game a masterpiece. Throughout the game, you consistently run into new types of ghosts, whether it being an entirely new ghost design or a ghost you've previously seen, but with a new color and a new way to defeat it, which is usually from the elemental abilities that you get throughout the game. There are 23 different portrait ghosts in this game, five of them being entirely optional to capture. All of the portrait ghosts have a little biography that tells you a little bit about them as well, which helps give them more personality. You can tell this game has a lot of thought and care put into it. There are a lot of small details with the ghosts like this. For example, we learned pretty quickly that Neville and Lyda are the parents to Chansey, 
Since all of their rooms are right next to each other, we kind of figure this out. Of course, we learn this for sure through the bios that we get on the Game Boy Horror after capturing them. But then they each also have their own baby care diary that Luigi has the option to read and you also learn that they're the parents of Henry and Orville. It's small details like this that make the mansion and all the ghosts feel connected and well thought out. Now of course there are a lot of imperfections with this game. A big problem with it being how short of a game it is. Because this game is kind of kind of short. Like really short. I really love Luigi's Mansion and I really hope if they make a fourth one that they improve upon the things that I've talked about in this video that is still in the original that we really don't see in the new ones. Of course, keeping the new elements in the new games that have majorly just been amazing improvements all around. But there are just a couple things from the original that we really don't see anymore in these new games, and I really think that they helped define what Luigi's Mansion was and what made it so different from the typical Mario games we often get. The original Luigi's Mansion also had a really weird development compared to the new Luigi's Mansion games. Obviously, there was a lot of experimentation and a lot of uncertainty with the series because it was first being formed, but also I've heard that they had huge time constraints, which also just probably made development a lot more hectic just all around so yeah who knows what we will get for a fourth luigi's mansion if it is ever to come but if i had to pick one thing i would just hope that they have the old style of the luigi's mansion the art direction for this game without a doubt was what made it so visually unique and it's probably one of the biggest reasons why i like this game so much the new luigi's mansion games improve upon a huge amount of things from the original the better combat and abilities are a huge improvement the animations and lighting and texturing are incredible and the amount of interactivity and physics with so much stuff is really impressive. But the original game has certain aspects that are still unmatched and for that reason, I think the original Luigi's Mansion is still a masterpiece. Or who knows, it's probably just nostalgia. 